Hey everyone, here we are back again for this is part two of my modern mansion for base game um, and for this part we're going to go through and do the interior. Uh, so we're starting off here in the kitchen and uh, wanted it to be a nice open plan um, all throughout uh, the downstairs area. So big modern, modern kitchen at this end uh, and I end up uh, raising the platform slightly just it's got its own sort of section um, and just to break the whole area up a bit. This is me going through every cabinet to try and figure out which one I wanted to use. Um, it's very limited when you're just using base game. Um, I went with these dark blue ones, but even then I, I changed this up a bit afterwards as well, but just getting the basic layout down. Trying to figure out where I wanted everything, make sure I can fit all um, the appliances in. And I wanted a big double fridge moment because it's a big, very extravagant kitchen. Um, yeah, and just finding a spot for everything. We had to pop, pop the stove in the middle of the room there uh, and there's a seating area around the bench around the back there. Just remembering to put bins in of course and pop some outside bins in as well. This is me deciding oh, I'm not really happy with that colour and going through and fiddling again. Um, and, oh yeah, still haven't quite decided on the colour but yeah going through and adding some more above counters. Here we go. So I went for this uh, dark grey with the lighter countertops and the wood along the bottom. I just thought it was a bit bit more modern and suited the, the build a bit better. Um, just going through now and figuring out the wall cupboards. Oh, these ones gave me a bit of grief trying to get them in the right spot. They just weren't clicking in but just got to angle it completely right <laughs> it'll slot in. Now underneath I did some extra shelving just there's a bit more room some decor in and then yeah just swapping out the the blue ones for the spray ones and I thought these stools were nice. They were added in an update. They're a, like a CC collaboration that Maxis did. Um, they're really nice. Just filling with the stove here. I wasn't happy with how far it went back. I'm trying to use the other uh, tool mod there to make the, the bench nice and flush. Uh, and I decided that the black tiles were too much so I went through and softened that a bit. You know, brightening the place up with a bit of, bit of greenery. Lots of greenery and just some final bits and pieces to make it all come together. Here's that little shelf I was talking about, just above the sink. Fit a few little bits and pieces. Going through and seeing what can actually fit on the shelves is always a mission. Um, this corner back here was a bit empty, so I popped in some of those in our dining cabinets with the bits and pieces in them. Here's what I was talking about before. I raised it up on a platform just so that it has its own little moment because it's such a, a big room. Um, I might do a video on that um, as a separate video on how to put your rooms together when, when you've got like a big long open room and how to make them break them up a bit without making them feel really empty. I think this one came together pretty well with the different levels and the different areas. Um, down the end here we're going to have a dining room, a formal dining room um, with a small bar area. Just squeezing it in a bit there and a nice spot to sit down and have a drink um, and then yeah I go through in the end and do all the lighting as well and I think it comes up really well. Just struggling here always with the curved rooms again if I ever look at another curved room doing another curved room someone please stop me because they nothing but trouble. <laughs> um, choosing some mats now these are great as well for filling up the area making it feeling feel a bit less empty. Um, and here we have a little little moment in the corner over here. We can have a little sit down and relax. But bar, get some lighting. Let's go through, adding a few little bit more bits and pieces, more plants, of course. Scatter this place with plants. That's one thing that base game definitely needs more. Like if they do more updates for it, they need to put a few more different plant options in. Um, a bit later on I did uh, make some like custom plants with empty pots and like out, outdoor plants which they come up pretty well. Um, just getting a bit creative with it because of the, the lack of options. Uh, I'm trying to find a nice mirror here for by the door again that's another thing that they lack in base game. Um, they're all at sort of weird heights uh, so it makes them a bit hard but we just went for this smaller one there. 
Um, I pull that pot out because I knew I was going to use it somewhere. It's just sitting in the front of the door, but we'll lose that in a second here. So here I am. I was making. I don't end up standing with that plan. You can see me fiddling around with it here, going through and trying to choose um, something different, just to change it up a bit because you get sick of using the same things all the time. And I've just used the nine key on the keyboard to lift it up um, so it looks like it's in the pot. And then a different one on this side. Um, just a, it's another plant from debug menu, just for something different. This is those columns that I put in earlier um, and I want to put the TV on it. So it's kind of freestanding in the middle of the room. Here I decided that I actually want to use these chairs inside. So I ended up changing the outside ones. So again, with this end of the house, I end up lowering um, the level just to give it a bit of difference between the rest of the place and kind of makes it feel like its own room, even though it's all nice and open. Um, so the style of inside, I wanted it to be mainly sort of um, the main furniture. I wanted it to be sort of muted colors and really neutral, but then I wanted really loud pops of color um, in different sections. So we've got um, some really bright lighting in here, the blue and the green shade, and then just really nice pops of color with the, the art pieces that we use. Um, finding a, a few bits here that will go upstairs. I think it just um, all works together nicely because um, a lot of my builds do end up being really neutral or a lot of dark tones and just separating out a bit with the bright colors is nice. So this is the, it's actually the second room. Um, so if, like it was kind of built for the land grabs in mind. So this would be the um, teenage son's room. Um, Massive ensuite, massive walk-in wardrobe, his own little deck out there. Um, here I am, keeping in mind that I wanted to do some pops of colour. And I'm also just going through and figuring out what colour I wanted to use in here. I ended up doing splashes of orange, which I think worked quite well. Um, again here, separating the room a little bit, gave him a little, little study nook. Um, so he's, only, he's got his own spot to um, sit down and do his homework if he needs it. Popped a laptop in there for him. Uh, just, oh yeah, <laughs> money cheats, and then we, we got some aspiration points. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I wanted to keep it fairly minimal, but yeah, pops of colour. So this is me going through and trying to find what I can use that just brings it all together. Well, parts of this, the walk in wardrobe, I come back and fix later because I wasn't really happy with the layout. Like when you go to play and, and you've got the walls down, like, there needs to be certain angles where there's not too much uh, blocking your view. So I, I try to keep that in mind um, and yeah, I come back a bit later and adjust that a bit. This is now the, the main room. Um, they've got a smaller walk-in wardrobe. They've got a lo lovely big um, ensuite though. And they've got their own little sort of entrance area there that divides the room up and they've got their own a uh, little balcony there as well. They wanted to get some fresh air. Um, but yeah, this room comes together quite nicely. It is quite neutral. It's sort of softer colors in here. It's a bit more relaxing. Um, not as quite as bright as some of the other rooms, but I think it comes together well in the end. This is me trying to figure out the space I had in there because the, the room I had for the walk-in wardrobe just didn't leave myself a lot of room. I should have fiddled around a bit more and made it a bit bigger, but um, worked in the end and they've got some more storage out here anyway. Uh, going through and finding some bits and pieces now that'll work in here with a color scheme that we're going for. So, yeah, overall the interiors are very modern and yeah, kind of minimalist. Um, what kind of builds do you guys like to do? Do you do modern? Um, let me know in the comments or if there's anything else that you would like to see in a new video um, Yeah Feel free to pop it down below and I can have a look at that and see what I can come up with um, Going through now and trying to find Okay, the base game art is very limited um, With what we have available And I guess I could have probably jumped on the gallery and used some of the custom art they have on there and There's always some nice pieces on there, but I wanted to because I was going for base game build, a base game build, um, so that was a bit more accessible, I wanted to make it as more as accessible as possible. So I just purely base game, um, which is so annoying when you're using the filter 
when you're in the build catalog down in the right hand corner you can filter by different categories and in there you can filter by packs and if you filter by base game it will show you what's just available in the base game but every time you happen to go out of the category or if you use the eyedropper tool to select something um, it cancels all the categories which is quite painful because I use that shortcut a lot. Um, moving on now we're in the a study. I wanted to have two separate little spaces so that if you've got multiple adults in the build then there's multiple um, desks for them to sit at. Um, so one's a bit more of a business desk and the other one has a computer where you can do more computer work. Um, yeah, a few more plants of course, and a bit more colour to brighten it up a bit. Now I want it to be nice and open so lots of windows, lots of lots of light. Um, we're in day mode, you could see that, but doing all of this in night mode for some reason. I must have flicked it for some reason, flicked it onto night mode and then not changed it back. Uh, this is the upstairs living room. Um, again, another massive area and they can be quite hard to furnish. Um, but if you put a big big rug down and spread everything out, then it, it, it makes the room feel like it's actually full and you're not just in a massive empty room. Um, it's not quite the colours we end up on. I end up going a bit more cream than the stark white. Um, with a telescope in there, you can't actually use it when you click on it. It says you have to be outside. Um, which is annoying. I thought you used to be able to use it to spy on your neighbours. Which is weird. <laughs> Maybe that was in a... that might have been The Sims 3. Um, a bit cheeky, but yeah. I still left it there because it looks good. But if you want to use it, you'll have to move it outside. Um, little spot here for some plants. And just a nice bookshelf so you can come up here and read. It's a really, yeah, nice relaxing spot. This is um, going through now and just adjusting the lighting. I really wanted the lighting to be right in this on the interior and at the right level of moodiness. Okay, and we're at the end. So this is a little tour of the build. I'll tell you what I didn't get. I didn't get any footage, I don't think, unless I did in the last episode of, of the um, um, guest house. Um, yeah, well that's what it, this is the guest house here, how it came out. I did lose a bit of footage because I had issues again with the curved rooms that kept buggering up. I love this room, nice and bright, lots of windows in this build. It's almost like it's floating. Um, second bedroom, that's Malcolm chilling out his bed. Um, a nice big open office. And then the main bedroom, again lots of big windows. And we're at the end. Um, I would love if you subscribe, definitely leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching guys, have a good day, see ya.